As a metastatic breast cancer patient, I often feel and talk to other patients like it's my responsibility to know the difference between genomic and genetic testing. And it's my responsibility to be asking my oncology team for these tests. Why is that? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that. And I, I can appreciate that patients going through this, this journey often feel like they have to bring up these things to their oncologist. It's partly because of the time. It, it, it's difficult sometimes in the oncologist day in the visit time that they have to bring up every piece of the treatment and diagnosis that's necessary. This is why it's really important when you come into that visit to write down just a couple of questions that you wanna make sure that you ask in that visit. It could be that the oncologist is already thinking about this, but may just not have mentioned it to you in, the, in that time. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have enough time, make sure you do follow up later. You know, whether it's a, a phone call, some oncologists through the portals on the electronic medical records, some oncologists use emails, their nurse practitioners are often well-versed in a lot of this as well. But just the important point here is to make sure that your questions do get answered. So there is a lot of confusion around the terminology. We've mentioned genetic, we've mentioned genomic, somatic. You know, what does all this mean? There are some great online tools that, that can be used to, to provide this kind of information. But I, I just want to mention what I hear commonly in my patients, which is the difference between genetic testing mm. and genomic testing. But just to clarify, it's important for you to know whether you've had one, both, or none mm. of them. Genetic testing specifically is designed to assess for genes that are inherited, that could put that person and their family at risk of certain types of cancer, in this case, breast cancer. But remember that these genes are not just always breast cancer genes. If a woman has an inherited genetic mutation in a gene, she may have a risk for breast cancer, but she also may have a risk for other cancers like ovarian cancer or melanoma or pancreatic cancer. So genetic results can have an impact not just on treatment and, and the way in which we treat a patient, but also on that woman's family. Mm -hmm. Genomic results are around these biomarkers. Mm -hmm. So again, around treatment, what treatments are effective, what treatments may not be effective. It's often referred to as comprehensive genomic profiling mm -hmm. because originally the way we looked at genes with the technology we had was only one at a time. Mm -hmm. Now we can look at genes in a much broader scale with the technology we have. So a common gene tests that we have, we'll look at several hundred genes at once that we think are relevant for treatment and for prognosis. Mm -hmm.